Welcome to another Full Distortion guitar lesson. Today we're going to do Unchained by Van Halen, which I think is off of Fair Warning. And this is a really, really cool guitar riff, really aggressive sounding. We're going to do the chord part, that is the opening intro and the choruses. And then we're going to do the single note part, which is, I guess, also part of the opening intro and then played throughout the verses. So this is actually not that complicated. You use pretty much the same chord pattern throughout all of the uh, the chord part. So you put a bit of work in and you'll probably get it pretty quickly. Again, there's tab on the website as always, so head over there, grab the tab and follow along. All right, so let's look at the chords you use on that opening part of the riff. So you pretty much use the same formation up and down the neck throughout the entire thing. So you're going to start at the fifth fret, bar the a, D, G, and B strings with your first finger, and then with your third finger, bar the D, G, and B strings across the seventh fret. So this is your chord. That's your opening chord. Next, you're going to just take your pinky and add it to the eighth fret on the B string. So, so that's the opening two chords. And you're going to move up to the third fret, bar the D, G, and B strings, and add your middle finger on the 4th fret on the B string. So, and slide that whole thing down to the 5th fret and repeat. So, so far you have... And you're going to take that original chord shape, play it again, and then move down to the 8th fret with that same shape. So with that part, same shape, add the pinky, Go to that last chord, and that last chord is just barred across the 8th fret, 3rd finger on the 10th fret on the D string, and then your 2nd finger on the 9th fret on the G string. So, so all together you have... And that's that. And then, to tie that all together, you use a pedal point. So, on the first part of that riff, it's just your open E muted, like this. So you get... Like that. On subsequent repetitions, you're going to use the A string, and you're going to slide it down in between. So when you're moving this way, you slide down, when you're coming back this way, you slide up, so like this. Now you're probably going to notice that doesn't sound like it did when I played earlier, like it does in the song. And that's because on those slides, up and down on that pedal point, you're going to use a flanger. So when you turn the flanger on, on those parts, it sounds like this. So you have to turn it on just before you're about to move down, and then turn it off right after you come back. So, on, off, on, off. So on the second part here, I'm not going to explain every note because that would take forever. So just go to the website, grab the tab, and look at the tab, and I'll just play it slow here for you and combine with the tab, you'll be able to figure out. So it goes like this. So fast, it's like this. I screwed up a little bit there, but that's okay. So slow. And that's it. Put that together with the original part of the riff and you've got the entire thing.